all right friends welcome back to another video on building multi-purpose laravel and library application and in this video i'm gonna show you how we can use null object pattern in practice so before we start let me show you one issue over here so now first of all let me delete this record from our database and if i delete this record and we don't have settings and if i refresh the page we are getting this value from our case right so let me clear the cache as well so over here let me do ps3 addition cache clear okay now if i refresh the page we will see this issue called trying to get the property site title of non object right so to fix this issue we can do this using various different ways so first of all let me go to helpers.psv file and over here we can simply add a conditional so if there is setting then we will return this okay let me remove this now if i refresh the page we fix that issue but over here you will see that we are executing four different queries related to settings because we are using that setting helpers on four different places now if we use the setting helpers on multiple different places then we will be executing multiple different queries as well so to fix that issue let's use null object pattern so let me create a class called null settings inside of our app directory over here let's do null setting.psp okay let's add a namespace the class name is null setting and we'll be extending from setting uh, which is our model so over here let's define our attributes using protected attributes and which will be array and inside of this array we will define our key with our values so we can do a site title and on value let's just say default site title and on site name let's say default site name site email default and email option footer text default footer text and cyber collapse let's say false okay now let me go to our helpers.psv file over here let's do if there is a settings then return the settings and if there is not then we'll return the null settings and we'll call the mac method okay so to show this output let me open up the tinker and let's do app null setting and then mac and it will return the null setting object uh, with those key and those values and over here we can simply access those keys as a default one right because we are just creating the exact same abstraction over here so let me close this for now and then let me refresh the page and we will see the default settings over here and over here only three queries are executed first time if i refresh the page and only one query is executed on settings if i refresh the page again and only one query is executed which is pretty nice right and now if i change this site name from here let's change this and let's do set changes and if i refresh the page and we will get that value over here because we are now using from settings and we are not displaying over here so let me go to update setting and over here we need to assign to this state okay so that we will see over here and it is working so this must for this video i hope you learned something from this video so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i will be uploading the videos like this and till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one